I usually make um, small sculptural works um, that I use in installation and in photographs um, out of polymer clay, which is basically a common craft product that a lot of people have used as children. <laughs> um, but I, I also do sometimes video and fold lots of different things into it. But I'm, I'm generally making things that look like ordinary everyday objects that people recognise and sort of playing with representation and what looks real and what isn't real and what is. Yeah, so one of the major themes of my work is about how things get transformed by other things or by the process of being remade or represented and you look at them and reinterpret them into something new and Something that my work plays with is how uh, close the thing is to the real thing and what the, subtle, the subtlety of the differences. Um, if you take the made thing and put it next to the real thing, it's really obvious that it, it's not real. It looks really wrong and everything will be rough and you know wavy lines instead of straight lines or the colours won't be right or whatever. But something that your brain does when you look at the representation of the thing, it just reads it. I usually refer to sort of ordinary details of things that are around me because I'm a human in a material world like everyone and uh, I mean I often feel like I'm kind of drowning in that stuff and it, these little things that we live between are a really big part of our lives. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing because we have this really complicated, overwhelming material culture that we probably could get rid of. But my work, I guess, is a bit, it's a part of that problem really, but it's a byproduct of this kind of way of thinking about the world through, through stuff. Um, yeah, it's a bit arbitrary. I think the choice of what I'm working with is a bit arbitrary um, in terms of what I'm representing. It, it, they're just details, I think, and little um, specificities or something. They're just little artefacts of or witnesses to something small or ordinary that happened um, or was used or something that tells a little story maybe, yeah. So one of the works I'm making for Primavera, which is called um, Working Towards Making Things, um, is a work that's going to go in a covered vitrine on a table and it's to do with painting and the idea of painting and, and how you, what ephemera gathers up around um, the practice of painting and how that's then displayed um, in a museological context and how sort of mythologies of um, the artist are built up around those objects and the display of those objects. Because I'm making those objects and a lot of my work out of uh, synthetic polymer clay, um, I mix a lot of colours and there's quite a painterly aspect to what I'm doing. So I'm I guess in what, that new work I'm also playing with how 2D and 3D um, plastic colours you know, can be worked with and, and sort of having one thing look like the other thing, like a thing that's a three-dimensional thing looking like a painting or something that's fluid being made out of something that's solid and those kinds of things, like a sort of fluidity across the kinds of mediums that I'm dealing with. It feels like it's been a long time that I've been practicing so it's kind of funny to be you know in a show that is probably quite new to a lot of the people that will see it but um, it's also nice to have had a lot of time to develop things so I feel pretty comfortable with what I'm doing and um, yeah, how I go about it and like feel like you know it'll be thorough <laughs> or something. I can feel confident about what's going to be there. 
I mean, I do it, I think, because it's, it's, there's a kind of perfectionism about it or something, even though the things are so, they're not perfect, but solving all these small, small technical problems <laughs> and figuring out how to do it, how to make one thing that is soft look like that other thing. And I guess there's a magic in that for me as the maker that's different to what people experience when they look at it because I, I get to see it kind of get built up and emerge out of like a squishy thing. <laughs>